and welcome to part two of my larger eyeshadow palette collection and here is Pippa joining me and not moving from the middle of my setup here so Pippa is just gonna watch me go through my eyeshadow palettes and I think she is mesmerized by the light on my camera probably um so sorry about her but yeah let's continue on because like i said i still have a lot left and we might have to break this up into three parts overall uh so let's start here this is the bh cosmetics royal affair eyeshadow palette i just got this um recently from i think from bh cosmetics or ulta i can't remember now uh, but it was featured in one of my videos for a makeup haul and treat yourself uh so like I said, BH Cosmetics makes really great quality eyeshadows for their price. Um, so if you wanted to just find something that's kind of comparable, I would say, to ColourPop, um, then this is a really great brand to try out. And, you know, I'm just slowly adding more and more of their eyeshadow palettes to my collection because I think they're a really great formula and make some nice color setups here. Um, this one is a little bit more neutral, but... The price you can't beat so i just decided to get that during my ulta haul probably at some point this is the juvia's place saharan palette i featured that also in a haul um i haven't touched this yet this is a really great brand also that's up and coming and uh really doing well for the indie brands and being sold at ulta so i picked this palette up this is a brand that's not very well known here in the U.S. Um, I actually got this from one of my Japanese overseas uh, makeup packages from uh, my buyer over there that will go ahead and find me Japanese exclusives and hard to find items that are available there. Um, so this is the brand Addiction and it's the Eastern Jewel palette, which I just think it's stunning. Look at those shades. They're so pretty and jewel toned. And I just wanted to get something from this brand and try out. So it's so hard to touch these. They just look so pretty. So I don't know yet if it'll go into my Untouchables or if I will eventually use it. Oh, here's my other Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini palette. Um, I haven't even touched this one yet either, but this one I think was really cute and has a bunch of pans that are smaller size and I just think these colors would create some really pretty foiled eye looks like this one here Faso is like a lilac blue I love the green and this pink here oh, I just love metallic shimmer shades I don't know it's just it just looks so pretty on the center of your lid I just got this palette recently, the Kat Von D Fetish palette that was released for this past holiday collection. Um, it's very big and bulky and odd shaped, which is annoying. Um, but I first saw this and I was going to get it. And then I was like, no, you don't really need it. Just wait. And then I'm glad I waited because then it got, like I said, really marked down um, close to, I think it was Black Friday sale. And it was, I think, like, I paid 20-something, like, tw under $25 for this. So I was super glad I waited, and now I have it. And I did swatch it in store, and I liked it. And, I mean, I think the color story is just kind of all over the place in this. But so is her other palette, C and Center, and I have that one. And so, you know, I'm just really glad I got this discounted and did not pay full price. So I am glad to have it, and we'll try that. Here is a little Winky Lux Kitten palette. Um, I have a single, a couple single shadows of theirs and some of their other face products, highlighters. Um, so I wanted to try one of their actual eyeshadow palettes and it was a hard time deciding which one. I got it during some Ulta extra points on eyeshadow palettes sale, I think. And I chose this one because I think that teal blue color is really pretty and this Shade here kind of reminds me of ColourPop's Glass Bull shade. Sorry, Pippa is now drinking a bunch of water and is very loud. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to try one of their actual full palettes. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, I love the packaging. I think it's so cool and unique with the pictures. And of course, 
everybody was saying how awesome this palette is now. Um, one of their better palettes that have come out. As I am looking at it, this shade Drift actually looks like it has discolored a little bit at the top there. Um, so that's kind of gross. And it's not that old, so I wonder if it is turning on me. And that would really suck. But other than that, everything else still looks good. Has this happened to your shade in your palette? Please let me know. I just don't know if that's safe to use or not now. But all the other shades are super pretty and I really overall enjoy this palette. Um, I do have to use it more because I've only used it like once or twice. Here is the Too Faced Best Year Ever 2018 palette that came out last holiday. Um, I skipped over it when it first released, of course, but I want to say over the summer, it was super discounted and marked down. So I did pick it up and I haven't used it yet. Um, you know, Too Faced and Tarte don't really have the best quality for their holiday palettes compared to their normal palettes that they released throughout the year. So we'll see. I mean, I'm not expecting like horrible quality, but I heard it is different for their holiday palettes palette uh, releases. So it has the three face shades and then all these eyeshadows to use. So I will keep that. This is a brand Suva Beauty. Um, it's not very well known. I believe it's sold at Bloomingdale's. Um, but I wanted to just try it. It's called the Hustle four pan palette. So the pans are pretty large and very metallic. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to try this brand out and they're very buttery. So I think I heard it does, it can expire pretty soon because of all the oil in the formula to make them so foiled and metallic. Ugh, it's gorgeous, but the shades aren't really anything like crazy different than what I have. So actually I think I am gonna let that go before it has a chance to go bad on me and let somebody else try and use that. Um, like I said in the part one video, this is not a declutter. This is just going through my eyeshadow palettes and showing you my collection overall. Um, but I do have my smaller eyeshadow palette collection videos. I have two of those that were um, pretty good declutters in my opinion. <laughs> So if you want to see declutters, go watch those. Here's my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I haven't even touched this yet. I know. I got it in the Tart Tartlet vault or whatever. So when that came out shortly after the Toasted palette was released, um, I just decided to buy the vault, which has the in Bloom, the Toasted, and the regular Tartlet palette, I believe. And since I didn't have any of these before, so that's why I just decided to get the vault. And I hear, you know, good things about the In Bloom palette. Everybody says it's like their staple go-to palette for like a quick and easy eye look. It is pretty basic, um, but I am going to keep it just because I have the vault and I want to keep all of them together. <laughs> you know, it's not a very good reason. This is the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Drenched Metals palette. I actually, this was the first Violet Voss palette I ever bought. Um, a while ago before they started being sold at Sephora and everything. Um, so I just think these metallic shades were really pretty, but I really haven't reached for this lately in quite a while. Um, I have gotten a couple of their other palettes since then. I'm going to hold on to it still and try it out more this year. But yeah, here's the other palettes I just got from them during their Black Friday sale. This is the Like a Boss palette that's been out for a while, but it was super discounted. So I picked this one up. So it has some more shimmery shades. I really like this green here, Royal and Smart AF. And I just feel like their shimmer shades are gorgeous. So I will keep that one since I just got it. And last Violet Voss palette I picked up during the Black Friday sale. It's the Flamingo palette that released earlier this summer. I was going to jump on this when it first released, um, but then after looking at the shades a little bit more, I was just like, mm, they're very bright and not something I usually 
wear or go for. So I'm going to wait until it goes on sale because... I know it was going to go on sale eventually, and uh, I just was like, yeah, I could hold off and pick it up later. So I'm glad I did wait, and now I have it in my collection to try out some more bold, colorful eye looks with this. This is another Tarte palette I got when I first started getting into makeup, the High Performance Naturals palette, I guess is what it's called. Um, this cardboard packaging, and these pans here there's a dog barking outside yeah I really don't use this palette that much anymore and it has this stupid sheet with all the shade names on it I haven't touched it in years so yeah I am gonna just let that one go too I'm saying goodbye to all my old Tarte palettes but this one I am gonna going to keep it is the Tartiest Pro Remix palette it just released of course so uh yeah, I definitely will be holding on to this one. It has the paint splatter, and it's just the more colorful, shimmery, metallic eye shades follow-up sister to the Tardiest Pro palette. Um, that was all mattes except for four shimmers, and now this one is pretty much all shimmer metallic shades except for three mattes. So I made an eye look with this one, and I will definitely play with that one for now. These are the three new Pat McGrath palettes that released this year um, for the mini palettes. This one is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette. I love the packaging that she did for this set here that I bought off of her website for a bundle. So this is the Warm Tones. Um, this one I wasn't that excited about, even though I do love that green shade. Um, it actually looks a little crumbly. But... Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't too over overly excited for this, but since the bundle was such a good deal, I just thought it was worth it, and I wanted to, you know, keep all three together. But actually, I will tell you in a minute here. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Subliminal Dark Star Palette. This was the, like, pretty much only one I was really wanting and wanted to get out of the three. So I thought this blue was super pretty and these kind of matte gray shade, this purple. So this one I was really drawn to and wanted the most out of the set to definitely add to my collection. But this one, the Mothership Subversive Metamorphosis, this one I, I'm going to be crazy. I'm going to say I'm going to sell it. I haven't touched it. It's brand new. It's six metallic shades, and these two are actually already in her larger um, Mothership Decadence palette, the silver and this gold here. So I already have those shades in that palette, and these four shades are just, I mean, I do like that purple, but it's not something I should keep an entire palette for, really, um, and I haven't even touched it yet. So like I said, I got it in the bundle, and it was just better savings that way, but I think I will just sell this one alone since it is new and I already have two of the six shades. I know. Can you believe it? This is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. I did not get this when it first released. I was just like, I really like the packaging and that's really cool, but it's a bunch of, you know, reds and bright red shades that... I just normally would not use or make a look out of. <laughs> um, I haven't even touched it yet, as you can tell, but when it was re-released, maybe after one or two times after it was re-released, I finally did get it when I ordered his Thirsty palette. Um, yeah, just looking at it, I was like, you know, besides the bright red shades, I think you can make a really nice cohesive look. They have a bunch of neutrals up here. You can use some of these darker cranberry shades um for the eye look and if you want you can maybe use these pops of colors like this pink and that bright red but I think it I was you know put off by it at first and kind of scared to create anything with this color scheme but after looking at it a little bit more I decided to bite the bullet and get it and I'm glad I did even though I haven't used it yet I really can't wait to try it and 
everybody loves that palette. So I'm glad I added it to my Jeffree Star collection here. Here's the other one that I got with that palette. It is the Thirsty palette that he released over the summer. I haven't used this one yet either. Um, but yeah, I think it kind of reminds me of the Violet Voss Flamingo palette. These bright summery shades. Um, the yellow is super cool looking and this turquoise color and splash. The shimmer shades I heard are a lot like the Jouer Skinny Dip palette, which I showed in the first video. Um, but I heard these are super like foiled and metallic. And what I don't like is that some of the oil is bleeding into the packaging around it. Can you tell? So that's kind of gross. I think, I can't remember. There was some other palette that I saw that was doing that and people were just like, what the heck? So unfortunately, yeah, some of that bleeds out, but I haven't used it yet. I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it and see how that goes. <laughs> Here is the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Frankation palette. Um, I was not going to get this palette because $55 for a freaking eyeshadow palette was definitely not worth it in my opinion. Um, but, you know, I saw a bunch of the swatches and the swatches looked super pigmented and really pretty. Um, so when Ulta was offering this uh, during their holiday stay at one day sale for half off and I had my 20% discount. That's when I was like, okay, now I could jump on it and get it and have it in my collection. So I was glad I at least got that on sale. Here is the Kat Von D Lolita palette. Um, <laughs> I love Lolita. I love the movie with Jeremy Irons and Dominique Swain. I used to watch that all the time in high school. <laughs> I know I'm weird, but yeah, I love the book and I love the Lolita shades that Kat, Kat, uh, Kat Von D released. Um, so when I heard she was making the eyeshadow palette, even though, you know, I have all of these shades, whether it's Modern Renaissance or, you know, another kind of mauve neutral palette, even the Huda Beauty New Nude palette is similar. I still just had to get this palette because it's the Lolita palette. Needed it for the name. <laughs> Here are my Dominique Cosmetics palettes. This is the Latte palette. Um, so I'm really glad I got this one instead of the Lemonade one. I just wasn't into those pastel metallic shades. But this one here, you could just create a really nice natural basic eye look kind of with these mattes and these shimmers. But then you have the teal and the purple for a nice little pop of color, whether it's on your lower lash line or just in the outer corner to really just kind of mix it up and give you something different with that palette. And so I had to get the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream palette. Um, I just love this packaging too. And I haven't played with this one yet, but I like how she changed it up a little bit with the pan shape and that this also kind of can go in conjunction with the Lolita palette too. Um, but yeah, I just, was excited to get this when I heard it was releasing and I used my Sephora $100 gift card that I cashed in bonus points for on those palettes. So that was nice, not actually spending money on them. Oh, here are my other Tartlet palettes, the Tartlet Toasted. So I've used this a couple times, you know, a nice warm palette. The only shade I really didn't like is this one here, Crackle. It it's very glittery and has a lot of fallout. But other than that, I really like the rest of the palette. You know, just warm neutrals. Maybe eventually I will sell the vault altogether. And then here's the regular Tartlet palette that I haven't even touched yet. But it's a bunch of neutral mattes and more cool tones. So I think uh, I could use this in conjunction with some other palettes if I just need a transition or base shade or something. With that one, this is the new Juvia's place the tri palette that she released for this past holiday and then she was having I don't know 20% off or I don't know some huge sale on her site before the new year ended uh, before the year ended and I just had to get this palette because it's greens and I love any kind of green themed eyeshadow palette and this one is just stunning her pants are so large and you have these beautiful shades here. So I just had to jump on this one. And I'm so glad I got it. Super 
on sale. I was gonna wait till Ulta got it, if they got it, and when I was taking them forever to get it, I just got it when I saw that it was discounted on the website there. Here is the Violet Voss Pro Hashtag Palette. Wait, did I already feature this? Oh, I forgot I had this. I thought I showed you all my Violet Voss palettes, but I did. The Like a Boss palette I got a long time ago. I did not get that on the Black Friday sale. That's what happened. This is the palette I got during the Black Friday sale with the Flamingo palette. This is the hashtag palette, so I haven't used this one yet, um, but I wasn't that drawn to it when it first released. I was just like, eh, yeah, I could pass. But then, like I said, it was super discounted and on sale. And when I took a second look at this, I really do like the shades here, like all these purple tones, and then you have some warm shades up here. So I really feel like it is a nice put together palette. And the price was really encouraging to get that. <laughs> well, it was super cheap. Here is the, is this Tarte? Tarte Graveyard Swamp Queen palette. Um, I think Bunny is really funny, but I haven't watched too many of her videos lately. Uh, but I got this palette when I first started watching some of her videos, and it was on sale from Tarte, and I haven't even touched it yet. Um, so, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should sell it because I haven't touched it yet, or should I hold on to it and try it? I don't know. That's hard decision here. Sorry, I'm just moving because my legs keep falling asleep. Sorry to keep moving on you. But you have these three face shades and these neutral shades and it's like some of the shades are stand out. Like this one, Uncommon, looks pretty but I feel like I could let this go actually and since I haven't used it and somebody else can use it. The packaging is cool but it is kind of bulky so yeah, I am going to declutter that. Here is a Tom Ford palette, very luxury. It's my first Tom Ford eyeshadow quad, um, but when he released, like what, was it eight or 10 new palettes shades this uh, fall? This was the one I was most attracted to because of the greens, of course. And so I got it during the Sephora sale, so it was nice at least getting the 20% off on it. I really do like a couple of the other ones he released as well. Pretty Baby has some nice violet, lavender shades, and I think there was another one I had my eye on, but a lot of money, and I'm trying to do a low buy, so for now, I'm gonna say no. This is the Milani Gilded Desires eyeshadow palette with a couple highlighters at the bottom so it's another nice um, drugstore affordable brand and I brought this with me when we went away for Thanksgiving and it's just a really kind of nice all-in-one palette you have a warmer side and a little bit cooler tone side so I definitely am gonna keep that this is my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette so you know going with the peachy themed um, and I don't, like I said, I love shimmer metallic shades, so I don't have too many matte palettes that, in my, that I collect or in my collection. So this one had a lot of good reviews, and I haven't even touched it yet. I got it on sale at some point during the year, and just figured it would be nice to have an all matte palette in my stash. Let's see, where do I go next? Let's do... My Natasha Denona five pans. So I actually heard of Natasha Denona before she was started being sold on Sephora. She was a brand I saw on Beautylish and I was just like, who is this? Whatever, her stuff looks nice even though it's super expensive. And let me just try it. Um, so this is the eyeshadow pan in palette four. So it has five shades here that all are kind of cohesive. Um, I don't like, though, that some of these shades might be in her large 28 pan palettes. I have the blue-purple one, and I feel like some of those are in either the blue-purple or the brown-green, um, the ones in her five pan. So I wish that wasn't repeats um, in some of those palettes. But this is actually the first palette I ever bought from her. It's palette 08, so it is a little bit different then this one in size see it has the extra bar at the bottom there but 
I think it's supposed to have a brush, but it never came with a brush. So I don't know if it's just for you to put your own brush in there or what the deal of that was. But yeah, this is my first palette of hers I ever bought. And then I got her two holiday palettes last year. Um, this is the shade Eris with the pretty blue. I haven't used it too much, just a few of those shades over there. But the blue in there was really pretty. And then her other one here, is it La Hoya? Hoya, just Hoya. So this is another pretty holiday palette that she released. And I really do want her cranberry palette that she released this holiday. But these went on sale. These two went on sale after the holidays. So I should have known and waited to buy them then. But I bought them full price. So I am waiting now for the cranberry one to go on sale before I buy it. Um, but I do want to add that one to my collection. And this is the palette 13. So I really like it. It has this nice green shade and just some mattes here. So like that one. And then I got two of her minis. Um, the mini Lila palette. I've heard mixed reviews about this. I haven't tried it yet. I have the larger Lila palette, but I got the mini in that and the mini sunset palette. So I never got her sunset palette. And so when I released the minis, I decided to get this one. And I think it's cute and nice and compact to travel with. So people didn't really like the mini shadow formula since it is different. But so far I like this one. I haven't tried the Lila one yet, but we'll see. I was going to get the mini star one, but I have the star palette. And that one actually are all supposedly the same shades but a different formula from her star palette so I was like that's ridiculous why pay more money for just a mini version of that if the formula is supposed to be not as good here is a NYX Wanderlust palette in Copenhagen so it comes with eight shades and a matte lip soft matte lip creme this one looks like it has a spot on it, but I never touched it. So that's kind of gross. But I have not used this. It's brand new. I don't know what that spot is from. It's just discoloration from being put away and old. Don't know. Uh, I am just going to get rid of it though. Let's see if somebody wants it. Depending on that shade, we'll see. Uh, here are some large palettes. This is the Zodiac Love Signs palette by Beach Cosmetics so I actually just got this because it just came out recently so I got this from their website during I think Black Friday holiday sale so I have their other Zodiac palette which I'll show soon but yeah the Love Signs is just a follow-up sister palette and I think it's just stunning with all these colors so I can't wait to try this one And then some more BH Cosmetics palettes. I don't know why I got these super large palettes. I was just kind of going crazy. And they were so cheap. I was just like, yeah, why not? Why not get them? You like their formula? Go for it. And now I don't know what I will do with these or when I will use them. But this is their large 42 color matte palette. So a bunch of shades here. <laughs> As you can tell, we'll see how they work. Ouch, I just pinched myself closing that and then this other large one is their ultimate artistry shadow palette this one I showed where it arrived with a couple shadows damaged that came shattered so as you can tell the shade the shade and the shade were broken but Customer service just let me choose either. I could either get a replacement palette or get a refund. And uh, since it, the majority of the shades are fine and it was just those three, I was just like, oh, just give me a refund. I don't need to risk having another palette shatter on its way over to me. And I'll just take the refund and press these back in to the best of my capabilities. So I like the shades in this. I just... Don't know where I'm gonna put them because it's so freaking big. <laughs> Here is an Urban Decay Spectrum eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't like how this case is lifts off. Um, this one, 
I feel like I got it off of like Hot Look or Nordstrom Rack or something and I haven't even touched it. I don't like how small the pans are, but I feel like the shades are really pretty, like the top row here, the purples. <sighs> I think for now, I will hold on to it because I know I have a couple more Urban Decay palettes that I'm going to take a look at and I probably will declutter a couple of those, but this one I think for now I'll keep that one at least. Um, I'm going to cut the video off here. I am going to do a part three, but the part three hopefully shouldn't be as long and just go through the part three palettes um, in a separate video <laughs> and stop here for now. Um, but yeah, I managed to get rid of a few more palettes. so. Like I said, not a declutter, but just going through my collection, showing you everything and seeing what few items I decide I do not want anymore. <laughs> Thanks for watching. My name is Lizzie and it would mean so much to me if you guys subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for part three. And if you want to check out part one, that is in my videos. And if you want to look at some declutters where I really do declutter some of my collection, then just go ahead and check those out. Those are in a separate playlist of declutters. Thanks you guys. Have a good day. Bye.